the heck's going on? Today was gonna be a fitness vlog, but I got the call from the old man when I was doing cardio with Cardi, wants to go fishing. And when your 70 year old grandpa calls you, wants to spend some time, you gotta do what you gotta do. There's Papa right there. How long you been here, Chop? Not very long. Need some help? Yeah. We might have to tie a string to this. Through there. Okay. I really think you're bad luck. One of us is. We went to start the boat. The battery's completely dead. He has two batteries that are on this charger he's had for 50 years. The guy who carries tools in his back pocket didn't have a freaking crescent wrench today. And I asked for a crescent wrench inside five pounds and this freaking big. And he's ticked off. He went inside to get a different one. Well, he gave you the set, didn't he? I'll get these cords on here. You got all three of them on there? Yes, sir. Back up. Good gravy. This hook setting right. You want to talk, you want to hook it in from the top, and you want to have it buried, but you got to see them hit it and set the hook. So this is how you get this to swim. You want to get it to go as deep down as you can see, and you're gonna have to see them come up and hit it, but they want it deep. There he goes. There was one chasing it. Yeah. Golly. I think that's a large mouth. No, it ain't. Okay. The way he's throwing his mouth is kind of weird. Hey. I might can land him. I got some four pound. I think this is four or six pound tails. Leaders. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect eating size. Perfect. See, he's got that chartreuse tail on one. Those are hard to find. You got another one. That chartreuse tail is where it's at. Oh, nice. Look at them up there. They're spawning. The way they're chasing. They weren't doing that last time. Here's what these will look like, guys. They might hit a spoon. Hook size matters as well. He's barely putting it on. Now I'm gonna flip it up, turn it around, work it up that shaft, and then right here, look where the end of the hook is, and put it up right up that body. And you'll know if you have it right if this is not perfectly straight. And bury that hook. I'm gonna push this up again and chop. It's a fluke, this is a junior. When you lift this on here, my head's gone because I've been biting it off. Just barely lift it in there. Come back through. Turn this around. And where you see the end of this hook, Right here, that's where that needs to poke through. It needs to go in evenly and let it set. Let it bury inside. And then, when you're twitching it, twitch it at a downward angle and let this get close to the bottom. And then watch them strike it and set the hook. But if this gets out of whack in any way, it won't fish right. You want this going side to side. That's all I'm doing. Twice. Polarized. These are cheap. These are a must. They have a P 
tea on them, they're polarized. You can get them for 20 bucks at Walmart. You have to have polarized sunglasses if you want these to be fishing really deep. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. These fish are right under the boat. You'll see them shine. We're up here in these, these creeks here. And they come up here to spawn. These fish are active in this current up here. And they push up along here. And they're bunched up and they're spawning. There's some, you see a whole group of them. Look at them, look at them. Ten of them. Dang it. If you had a net, you can dip it in and catch them. Well, thanks for fishing with me today, old man. Hey, thanks for going with me. He got beat today, but we're going to come out again soon, ain't we, Pops? Yep. Okay, gang, I'm going to load everything back up on the bike. I'm going to head back to Conway. I don't think... Actually, I might show you how to fillet. Yeah, I'll show you how to fillet a fish. I do it with an electric knife if i got a bunch. Um, and I might do it with just a regular fillet knife. So, who knows? But either way... We'll see you back at the crib. We're going to be cutting at an angle here. Right behind the head. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this knife down into that spine. And you're going to be feeling along that spine as you're going down. Once we clear these ribs that run along here, we're going to shoot all the way through. And then we're going to be at a downward angle. cut all the way through. Then I'm going to peel this back and I'm going to feel around and I'm going to work this knife around these ribs. I cut them off at the rib line. I don't like dealing with it. There's not a lot of meat right there. You guys can do what you want. But I cut it off. And there we go. We have a nice fillet. I'm going to take this off the skin. You're gonna pinch down here, pinch down on it to get a grip, and then be at a downward angle, and work this meat off the skin. Next thing, this red meat, people don't like. The smaller the fish, the less likely you'll be able to taste that. The thicker the fish, that's gonna be really thick. All you have to do is cut it out, but this, since this fish is pretty small, just good eating size, you don't even really taste it. I'm gonna cut these pin bones out that run right along in the middle of the meat here. They're just tiny little bones. You forget it, not a huge deal, but here we go. I'm gonna show you one more really quick, but we have one nice fillet right there. Perf, this is a perfect eating size. The bigger these fish are, um, the more that bloodline and thicker it'll be. So I really like this size. Now remember, cutting right behind the head. Now I'm gonna turn this knife around. Let me get this out of here. Then I'm working around the spine. So kind of going carving at an angle here. Now I'm pushing down into the spine a little bit. Once I clear these rib bones, I'm gonna shoot all the way through. You can kind of feel it if you try to poke through and it's not going. Now peel this back. Is this a female? And just work this off. Why'd you say it's the female? I saw this yellow stuff. I thought it might have been eggs. But yeah. This is not. I guess it's something. Beautiful fillet. Alright, again. 
gonna grab onto something on the tail end right here and just go at a downward angle. And we're gonna take this meat off the skin. Take those pin bones out. You'll feel them, they're, they're little bitty tiny bones. But now all I have to do is just kind of wash these off real good. We already have some cooked up, so we're gonna save these. Okay guys, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and this vlog with Papa. I had a really good time. It started off a little rough, but I really enjoy my times when I can fish with him. Um, you never know when that's going to stop. So take advantage of those moments where we can share some memories. Me and Jillian are about to eat and watch some shows. We are watching a show on Netflix right now called uh, Money Heist. It was, it's a really cool show. You have to check it out. There's like four seasons, so it'll keep you busy for a while. It's a really cool show. Let me know what you guys are watching in the comments down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog with Paw Paul today. Uh, I know I had a blast. It started off a little rough, but we ended up catching some fish and we had a lot of good time and shared a lot of good memories. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, share, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.